Hussar Cavalry leading the way here. One of the oldest regiments in the British Army dates back to the mid 17th century, made up of the lifeguards and the blues and royals, the two senior regiments of the household. And they always have the job of protecting the monarch and of taking part in the ceremonial processions in London. They provide a mounted, dismounted guard at horse guards. They're there at the state opening of parliament. They're there at state banquets. Some of the horses, understandably, a little restless at this long, slow walk, but they keep them beautifully under control. Behind the hearse, the sovereign standard of the household cavalry. Just lost sight of it there. It was once used, like all standards, as a rallying point in battle and are embroidered now with the battle honors of each regiment. It is a very splendid and very touching sight, this last procession for the Queen. After all the glamour of the processions in London, there's huge numbers of people here, this quite intimate procession, bearing the coffin of the Queen back to her home at Windsor, the place where she came every weekend if she could, where she spent her childhood years, and where she came for a month each year in the summer, and at Easter, a place that she called home, and where during the pandemic she and the Duke of Edinburgh spent lockdown instead of going for Christmas to Sandringham where they celebrated their 73rd wedding anniversary. And where, of course, she sat alone in St. George's Chapel at the funeral of her husband. Just a year ago. These are the final moments for the people to see the hearse because once it goes inside through the gate, the Cambridge gate that leads up to the George IV gate into the quadrangle of Windsor Castle itself, there will be no members of the public. There will only be those who've come to the chapel to take part in the service. So this is quite literally the last glimpse 
of the sovereign's coffin that her subjects will see, except, of course, watching it on television. On left and right of this final part of the pathway, again, all these flowers are tiny bouquets of flowers that were brought here and have been laid out. And standing there on the right of the picture, the Queen's pony or horse, Emma, when the Duke of Edinburgh had his funeral here, the driving carriage that he used to use was brought out to the quadrangle here from the Mews of Windsor, the grooms who work in the Royal Mews, and this black Highland, I suspect, pony, Emma. Come to watch the coffin go past. It was only a few months ago that the Queen was seen riding in the park. And as many people have said today, her two great passions were horses and dogs. And it's a rather touching sight that Emma should be brought out to watch the procession go by. The mounted cavalry now peel away. They don't go through into the quadrangle. They're peeling off to the right there. And the Blues and Royals on foot 